people receive information in different ways, and I guess that kind of goes to your point about the submissions as well. You know, some people will love a detailed thesis. Other people will love to read or listen or watch the 30-second summary that you pop on as an addendum, and that's the hook. A parliamentary inquiry that tells everybody what everyone knows already that it's toxic isn't actually going to go very far. I would suggest in terms of how to reduce 6,000 words to something would be to think about an executive summary that is a set of questions that will require the government to answer because it's a parliamentary inquiry with the information that is not currently in the public domain that journalists and others will be able to say, ah, that's new, that's something I didn't know, I'm going to follow the rabbit, that rabbit down a hole. So I would really encourage people to think of their executive summaries as a series of questions that require answers from within the government about process and about timelines, about decisions, etc. I <coughs> want to touch on the submission stuff first. We can't know. To be, to be really frank about it, we genuinely cannot know. I've sat on parliamentary inquiries. I've seen the parliamentary staff do it. What we know is that it's crucial that it speaks to the terms of reference. So I would very much look at the idea if you've got 6,500 words and I'd look at the idea of going, okay, I've written it as a story, this is my narrative, these are my things. And I would look back to the terms of reference and I'd use a nice cut and paste or whatever job to pull them into how they relate to those terms of reference and make those connections because we know that that is crucial. We know that it is possible for them to not sort of deal with things that are not explicitly related to that. And so I think that would be my one tip. The more detail, the better. My guess is if you've been involved in this campaign for a while, you've probably made a couple of submissions already to things. You probably ranted about it multiple times on Facebook. You've probably made submissions or email complaints or other things. So actually gathering the information you have already put together in those forums that you've already done in those submissions that you've put on your Facebook and pulling those things together in line with the terms of reference is what I would encourage. The human cost it cannot possibly be taken into um, account because you can't yet measure what the human cost will be. And I think one of the questions that you could ask as part of the submission is what instruments and what things are in place to not only understand what the baseline impact is now, but what are the predicted future scenarios going to be? Does the panel agree with me that governance is a very broad term and it certainly includes everything from the legislation governing the project, which is the critical state infrastructure. Now, governance can cover a lot of things, including failed complaint processes. Yep. Complaint processes are definitely part of governance. To the question of governance, I would say absolutely. We can demand a the broadest possible interpretation of something like that. Um, you know, just a, within Inner West Council, for example, I think our costs now of addressing issues with West Connects is running to over a million dollars. I've actually got recommendations in, in my submission, like recommendations on how they should treat people for uh, property damage and also for the failure to deliver urban repair as they did at Beverly Hills and that they needed to hold the contractors to account. So, can I have recommendations? Absolutely, recommendations. I think that's a really good point and, and we didn't touch on it earlier. When we talk about the amount and what you should do, let's remember what the Liberals delivered us for the EIS. Like, you would know if you saw them. The environmental impact statement were those blue, box that you block, um, blue books that you may or may not have seen that were like piles like this, like one stage was like this high on my desk. I remember we always took photos of them, we had them, they're all piled up in the Newtown office if you want to have a look. But in a sense, that's what they gave us. So don't be shy, if you want to put in a few attachments at the end, feel free.